in July, the performance of U.S. indices and Chinese shares diverged yet again. The U.S. S&P 500 index made an incredible comeback in the last three days of July to finish the month 9% higher, while Chinese shares backpedaled on gains from upbeat June to trade back at May levels. Notably, Alibaba sunk below the $100 Hong Kong dollar mark after a 16.8% loss in July ahead of its second quarter earnings report. In Singapore, you will be kicked off the earnings season by reporting on the last business day of July. UB is amongst the top index performers in Singapore in the month of July with a 5% gain. Find out how Warren's tracking the S&P index, Alibaba and UB shares performed in the month of July and how you can use them to trade short-term swings of either direction. Hi, I'm Jamie from Macquarie Warrens and I'm here to share with you some highlights of the market action last month and how you could have used Warrens to capture some of these moves. The US markets got out of bear market territory in the month of July after the US Fed's optimistic remarks on potentially avoiding a recession in the US led to a strong rebound in the last three days of July. The S&P 500 Futures Index ended the month 8.5% higher, resulting in a 45.8% increase in Macquarie's trending S&P Core Warren 9N3W. Trending S&P put warrant fell 50%. While US markets were moving higher, Chinese stocks saw a reversal of fortunes that wiped out the gains from June. Notably, Alibaba was in the spotlight in the final week of July. First, for announcing its intentions to seek a primary listing in Hong Kong, which gave its share price a boost. But three days later, it was reported that Alibaba had been added to the US's delisting watch list over audit inspecting issues, causing a sell down in its shares. With Alibaba shares 16.8% lower in the month of July, trending Alibaba put Warren XXMW was up 41.2%, while trending call Warren PYQW was down 54.8%. With Alibaba slated to report its second quarter earnings on the night of 4th of August, investors who anticipate further volatility in the share price move may wish to consider Macquarie's call and put warrants over Alibaba. Those who think Alibaba may report better than expected earnings which may give the share price a boost can consider call warrants. Call warrants tend to move higher along with their respective underlyings. On the other hand, investors who are expecting further downside in the stock can consider put warrants, which tend to move inversely with underlying stock, gaining in value as the price falls. Here at home, you will be kicked off the second quarter earnings announcements by reporting stronger quarterly numbers compared to the previous. The stock finished the month as one of the strongest index constituents on STI with a 5% gain. Consequently, Macquarie's trending UB call warrant rose from 10.9 cents at the end of June to 13.6 cents at the end of July, a 24.8% increase five times more than the stock price gain. The trending put warrant fell 31.4% from 15.9 cents to 10.9 cents in the same period. Investors keen to trade on further short-term moves in any of the above-mentioned names may consider doing so via Macquarie's UOB, Alibaba and SAP warrants, which allow investors to go both long or short the underlying. In this month of August, more companies will be announcing second quarter earnings, which may result in share price volatility. Investors will also be keen to see if the US Fed's recent rate hikes will help bring inflation numbers lower, while China's industrial production and retail sales figures may or may not prompt further stimulus from the Chinese government.
For further details on trading warrants and to find out if you are qualified to trade warrants, click on the link in the description or feel free to contact us at our warrant hotline. Lastly, don't miss out on the next video and exciting warrant news by scanning the QR codes and subscribing to our channels on YouTube, Telegram and Facebook.